Hello guys, so I am doing my makeup this morning and of course I'm starting with my Alme foundation. I love this stuff. I'm assisted by my daughter today. She's gonna help me narrate this video. Hey guys. So do you like the Alme? I know you have some. Yes, it's really beautiful. I like it. So look how it's going on so smooth and it matches my skin perfectly. Such a natural finish. I know. 100% recommend. The only thing about it is it's super thick. Is it thick to you? Yeah, but I like to mix it with my Fenty. And it kind of lightens it up a bit and gives me a little bit of full coverage. Okay, so now I'm doing a little bit of highlighting with my Duo Stick by NYX. I'm going to blend this out. I like to put a little um, high, a little lighter concealer on my um, brow bones and my nose. I don't do as much highlighting as I used to. So basically, I just do these two areas and I'm done. Just to do a little natural highlight. That we're not going a little bit too overboard. Yeah, now so I'm adding some um, setting powder. I love this. It just, I don't know, it just it seems like it makes my um, eyeshadow go almost smoother and it lasts longer. What you think? Pro tip, if you want to have your eyeshadows blend better, put a little bit of translucent powder on the lids and it'll help blend your eyeshadows better. Okay, so now I'm putting some of this powder on my laugh lines and around my nose. Um, it helps with creasing. Mm. I'm now going in under my eye with some more powder. You know, I notice that it kind of smooths out my under eye and highlights it a little bit. Yep, got to bake and plus it'll give you an airbrush finish when you're done. Yep. And so, okay, so I put it on my jawline too. I don't know, it seems like it accentuates it or something. It also smooths it out. Yep, you got to cut that jawline if you want a sharp contour because we got it, we got it look snatched 2018, 2019. So I try to look snatched. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little contouring with that same NYX stick. Putting it on these areas, that jawline again. It's better to cut the jawline first so you won't have a harsh line and it's like, why did it stop? Why is it just white and then dark? So I'm blending it out with my sculpting brush. I like a subtle contour. You can see it, right? Can't you yeah. see my contour a little bit? Okay. Mom, you're like you have a jawline. <laughs> it kind of like brings the look together. Yeah. Adds a little bit of warmth, adds a little bit of sculpted. That's what it is, it adds warmth. We gotta look like bronze goddesses. Okay, so this is that impact brush. I love that brush. That's the best brush ever. It's an Eco Tools brush. I use it to um, just blend in my contour on my nose. All right, now for the eyes. Makeup Revolution palette. So this is my transition color. It's barely there. I'm just wondering, does it add anything? What you think? Yeah, it adds a little bit of sculpt before. It's like. It's like the foundation of where you're gonna go. Okay. So now I'm popping this like um, bronzy looking color on my lid. And keep in mind, this is a work look. So I try to tone it down for work. I don't want to be too flashy. Yeah, but, we're not trying to slay at work. We're just but trying I still want to wanna look good. Mm -hmm. So it could be still be like, mm, she cute today or whatever. Yeah, give her a little raise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is this darker color, and you say it defines your eye, right? Yep, it defines, and it gives you like a little bit of a va va voom without going a little bit too overboard. Now, this is a step that I can never skip because I love, I just love the way it makes my eyes look popping that darker color in there. Mm, blend, yes. Cause you know I have a hooded lid, so I have to do what I have to. Okay, so this is a new tip I got from Wayne Goss. It's, Shout out to him. It's um. How do you call it? You pop in, it's an eyeliner, but you're just putting it on your lash line. You're gonna, it's not gonna be a cat eye line, like a cat line, which is a wing. Mm -hmm. So it's just before the wing. So it's like without the wing, it's not doing too much. It's just at making your lashes look fuller, thicker. It's gonna give your eye a little bit of shape without going too much Yay. with the wing. Yeah, it gives my eye shape because my, let me look at my lids are hooded. So whenever I try to do an eyeliner, uh, a liner on my upper lid, it just looks not right so but working with dark shadows on your lash line you might have to worry like watch out for fallout on the face because black um, eye shadow it stains and you'll have to start all over again so yeah i did this and i messed up a little because i got a little bit on my um lid but i'm gonna try to fix that up once i get done but yeah it shapes your eye without taking too much of your um your lid off yeah yeah, I'm trying to fix that spot. Yeah, now I'm trying to blend it out a little. Mm, let's see. Looking a little. So look how defined my eyes are. I love it. <laughs> I'm in love with makeup, y'all. 
going even more eyeliner. So this is going on my bottom lid. I try to do browns on my bottom lid because her waterline. We're going in on the waterline. Yeah. Now we're going in with blush, I do believe, or bronzer. Yeah, that's blush. That's my blush. Elf palette. I love that palette. But you say that they it don't blend. It doesn't blend. It kind of clings to the skin and hmm. it's hard to blend out. Well, at least for darker skin tones, and I'm darker than you. I'm a mocha baby. Uh -huh. So I always go in with my um, kabuki brush after I put my blush on because I don't trust that I've applied it right. Or I, I'll, I'm always self-conscious that I've applied too much. So I always go back over with my kabuki just to blend it out or take, take any excess off. I personally believe that the kabuki brush would be better for foundation. I might try that one day. She doesn't believe me, so it's okay. All right, now it's time to set it with my setting spray. Got it, set it. And that's the physician's formula spray. I like it. It comes out more of a light mist as opposed to like big sp sprays like the other stuff I've done. Now I gotta put on mascara. Always do mascara last because if you put setting spray on top of it, it kind of melts. It does. I've learned <laughs> that from Usually you. like you've been crying. And that's the end, guys. That's the end. Slamming for work. Thanks Love for watching. You. Bye.